Well, we got a nice looking uh, hood V here for our 59, but it's got a little bit of a problem. This one stud just kind of pulls out. So I'm going to show you a quick and easy way of dealing with a problem like this, especially like on this piece, it has multiples. So what we're going to do is we're going to get you some epoxy that has some steel in it. And I'm going to go ahead and the ones that are still good because they only thread in, you know, one turn. I'm going to put a dab of epoxy on everything and put these, put these studs that are good so they stay good and make a quick repair to this one that stripped out. Well, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take out the remaining studs here. Gather these up. Main thing that's important when you use an epoxy or soldering or welding or anything else is to make sure things are clean. A little bit of brake parts cleaner on the studs. And a little bit into each of the holes. Wipe everything down. These are also with the threads, they're sufficiently roughed up, especially this one that's stripped out. So we'll take and mix up a little epoxy. See? If, you're, um, if the part you're repairing is plastic, you're going to want to use something like denatured alcohol to, to clean it up. Um, with the chrome part, carburetor cleaner works. So we're going to take and mix this up, a little bit of epoxy on the tip of the stud and on the first couple of threads, we don't want to overdo it. So we're going to go ahead and do the ones that are not damaged in the hopes of protecting them from becoming damaged. kind of fiddly work. So these are gonna naturally still go in straight because the threads are still good. Just give them a little bit of help. You always have to be very careful when you tighten these down onto the nuts down onto the car that you don't um, pull these out. This is the one that's stripped out and it will sort of thread in not too well, but to, you want to make sure that it is straight. So it's kind of, it kind of grabs some threads in there. It's very loose. So get a little, little more epoxy on this one. And I'm going to try to put a touch down it in there to kind of wet the metal. And we'll ensure we have a really good bond. And start that in. Okay, it looks pretty straight. A little squeezed out. It's not going to be in a place to cause problems. If it was one like here and it squeezed out, it would cause problems. But you can come back later after it hardens. Get in there with a a needle file or even a nail file or something and clean it up. Um, but this one here's got a little bit more because we did have the strip out and it's okay. A little, a little around the edge, it gives it some reinforcement. So now I'll just let it sit and cure and there you've made a repair to a, a damaged trim element. Like in this case, just simply the hood V. You can use this technique on a lot of different parts and save your original part if it's been damaged or if you're missing a part and you can't find what you need. A used one can be repaired, so there you go.
good? All good. Fine Village is a great organization that gives back to the community. Check it out. You'll see so as well. Thanks for watching. Hi, my name is Sonnen Kirsten. We're here at the 2018 Vine Village Celebration, our major fundraiser here that helps fund programs that we run for people with developmental disabilities here in the greater Napa community. Vine Village was founded by my family and another family each who had children with disabilities in 1972. And we depend on donations from all sorts of foundations and individuals and businesses throughout our community to help fund these programs and this is our biggest fundraiser of the year. You can donate by clicking the link in the video description.